Intex pools have all the same needs as the bigger in-ground pools, but water chemistry can be a bit confusing, so let's clear that up, both the confusion and your pool. Wordplay. <laughs> Quick disclaimer, everyone has a different way of taking care of a pool. At the end of the day, we all just wanna help you take care of your pool and make sure that it's clean and clear and everybody has a good time swimming in it. Everything in this video is from my personal experience taking care of pools for a very, very long time, plus all the research we've done here at Swim University. And if I missed anything in this video, I apologize, but if you just leave a comment, I can address it there. Thank you very much. We're also talking about water chemistry, which means we're gonna be talking about pool chemicals, which means safety first people. That means putting on chemical resistant gloves, using a mask, using chemical resistant goggles, and a chemical resistant apron, a nice apron. The biggest difference between an Intex pool and an in-ground pool, or an above ground pool in that case, is just size. Intex pools have less gallons. That's where the real confusion comes in because a lot of companies that have to, that sell pool chemicals are really selling it for above ground pools and in-ground pools which are much bigger. However, Intex pools are a little bit smaller. That said, Intex pools have all the same things as an in-ground pool or an above-ground pool. And when we talk about Intex, we are talking about the brand Intex. They go by many names. You can have Intex, you can have Quick Set, you can have Easy Set, you can have Blow Up Pools. They're all called the same thing. The only thing that we're gonna talk about and we're gonna address in this video is your pool must have a filter system. That means a filter, and a pump that circulates the water. If you just have a pool that you set up and you add water to it, that is not the same thing. The pools that we're talking about have a filter system and that makes them just like every other pool. The good news about having an Intex pool or one of these easy set pools is that when in doubt, just change the water out. I'm a poet and I didn't even know I was one. What you're gonna have to figure out before we do anything with water chemistry is how many gallons of water are in your Intex pool. The easiest way to find this out is hopefully you still have the instruction manual and it'll just tell you in there. If not, you can go to our pool calculator at swimuniversity.com slash pool dash calculator and you can just enter in the dimensions of your pool and the height and it will tell you how many gallons are in your pool. This is the first and most crucial step when it comes to pool chemistry. Next, you need to know how to run your filter system. You need to know how the filter system works, which is basically water comes in, the pump is sucking the water into your, into your filter system, it is filtering, it's usually in this case a cartridge filter, but you might also have a small sand filter. So the pump is gonna suck water in, pump it through the filter system, and then back into your pool. And so whenever you're adding chemicals to your pool, you wanna make sure that that filter system is churning, it's running, it's spinning the water. How long can I do this? Look like Arsenio Hall. Uh, 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 uh. Just like every other pool, you got your filter system, you got your water, you know how many gallons, it's time to test it. You're gonna test it by using either test strips, a liquid test kit that you can buy, both of these things you can buy at your local pool store or online, and you can even take a sample of your water to a local pool store and they will check it for you. Just need to know how many gallons that you're working with so that they know what kind of readings to give you. Personally, with a smaller body of water, I recommend testing more often than you would with a bigger pool because a lot more things can affect the water. Rain can really affect the water and drastically change the pH. People swimming in it can drastically change it. So you're gonna be testing more often. If you can do it three times a week, that would be great, twice a week even, but at minimum twice a week. Now, once we have our tests, we have our readings, we need to balance the water before we do any sort of sanitation. And balancing the water in this case is just balancing the pH and the alkalinity. You might get another reading called calcium hardness. With an Intex pool or with an easy set or a blow up pool, you do not need to worry about adding calcium hardness to your pool. We are not trying to prolong the life of a liner. We are not trying to prolong the life of a concrete pool. You have an easy set pool, something that you take down every single season. And so therefore, you really don't have to worry too much about calcium hardness. So we've talked about balancing and now we wanna talk about sanitizing. So once your 
pool is perfectly balanced, your pH is at the right level, your alkalinity is at the right level. Now we can add a sanitizer to your water. And the reason we wanna balance the water before adding the sanitizer or before checking the sanitizer is because a balanced pool will make your sanitizer more effective. And in this case, if you're gonna be using a sanitizer, I just recommend using chlorine. It is the easiest thing you can use. For a smaller pool, you can buy a chemical floater, a little tiny floater that you can add small chlorine pucks into, or you can add a like a granular chlorine, something that you can just toss directly into the water and let it circulate. You have your sanitizer. We wanna make sure that the sanitizer, in this case for a chlorine pool, is at around three parts per million. And you're also gonna to wanna to shock it about once a week. You can use a non-chlorine shock, and that's what I would recommend using for your pool. You don't need as much, you don't need to pre-dissolve it, you can just add it directly to the pool, and in 15 minutes, you can be swimming. So if you're gonna be shocking your pool, which I recommend to do every single week, shock with a non-chlorine shock. So if you have any questions about you know taking care of these smaller pools, don't worry, we have a sponsor on the show, which is our own product, the Pool Care Handbook and Video Course, which will teach you everything you need to know about taking care of your pool, whether you're new to this or you've been doing this a while. If you're new to this, I highly recommend it. It's swimuniversity.com slash pool-care-handbook. It is packed with about 35 video lessons and counting, and we have a huge, fully illustrated ebook that you can print or you can or you can reference whenever you are in doubt you can just go to that reference guide or watch one of our videos once you get it you have it for life so because you're watching this video and thank you very much for watching it i'm going to offer 10 percent off just by using the promo code video it's that simple all right that's it thank you so much for watching if i missed anything please leave a comment below and if you want more information on taking care of your Intex Easy Set Blow Up Pool, go to swimuniversity.com. That's it. Thanks again for watching and happy swimming.